Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I'm up to is what you're gonna see here. And today, I'm sitting in Bryan Park. I figured I would just do a little update video. Um, if you hear weird circus music, I'm sitting kind of close to the carousel, so I hope it's not too loud. Um, yeah, so I haven't been posting every day lately. And that's because I haven't been up to filming every day lately. Um, it's been kind of stressful. Um, I'm trying to navigate a health insurance situation. So I'm okay. Um, I will start with that. I am totally okay. My, my health is stable. My Crohn's is stable. So all of that, I, I am okay. Um, but in America, our health insurance is tied to our employment and my employer is changing our health insurance company, which normally not a big deal, but because of my, my health issues, um, I'm running into some roadblocks that I really, I, have, I can't wait and see. I have to plan for, because the worst case scenario, my medication needs a prior authorization and if the insurance company does not approve my medication it's expensive it's unaffordably expensive it's over a thousand dollars a month expensive and i can't just wait and see what's going to happen with that so a lot of my time and energy has been spent you know sort of like contingency planning you know best case scenario it's covered no problem and life continues as is but i have to plan for worst case scenario i can't just hope that that's not the route it's gonna go and it, it's very frustrating it makes me very very angry that healthcare is not you know it, I, I don't want to say not taking it seriously because that's not correct um but it makes me angry that health and healthcare is for profit. That health insurance companies, not doctors, are dictating our treatment and our course of care in America. That makes me very angry. It makes me disappointed and it makes me scared. The only person who should be involved in my care with me is my doctor. My doctor has the medical knowledge, went to medical school, has the medical training, and can advise me on the different courses of treatment available to me. And they should be the ones providing my care. I should not have to jump through hoops through insurance companies and having an insurance company say, no, you have to try this first, you have to fail on that med first, you can't just do that. They are not doctors. They are just a for-profit business. But somehow they make determines about Americans' health care. And it's stressful. If you have a chronic health condition, trying to navigate that is extremely stressful. So I'm trying to do things to take care of myself. But that has been a challenge. I'm not sleeping well. I wake up multiple times a night since this has been going on. I'm not falling asleep easily. I'm really, really struggling. And again, you know, I don't want to catastrophize. Again, maybe this is nothing. Maybe it'll work out fine and it'll be no big deal. But the what if, and I'm sitting in limbo until I know, and there's no quick result to this. This is, I have to wait until everything changes and then I go and have to go through the process and and I feel very helpless. I feel so helpless in this situation and I'm trying to exert as much control as I can and you know have self-determination and it's hard. It's really exhausting and it's hard. So if I haven't been posting a lot lately it's because I'm dealing with this. I'm trying to navigate this. It's taking a lot of time to navigate this. And then when I'm not working on this, I am emotionally spent. I am physically spent. I don't have the energy to do a lot. So I haven't really been going out on the weekends. I've been watching a lot of Star Trek. I, I finished watching Star Trek Discovery. 
so that was awesome and the end of season four oh my gosh that was so powerful that was so powerful so if you've seen it you know what i'm talking about if you haven't seen it yet i would advise seeing it it's uh it's my two cents on that i started watching star trek picard this weekend finished the first season enjoying it um very different very different than classic star trek but definitely enjoying it so that's what i've been up to is plowing through seasons of you know the new paramount plus star trek that's really what i've been up to aside from navigating my health insurance woes so that's that's the small and skinny of it so yeah that's what i'm up to these days so i guess with that i'm done for now and i'll try to see you tomorrow and until then stay inspired by everyone take care